Welcome to the country, where we do country things. And as you can see behind me, Bo here is in hard antler. So earlier today, I came out, I hung a branch for him, and he really got after it pretty hard there for just a few minutes. And it was kind of in the middle of the day, so it's pretty hot outside. And I, I don't think he really uh, was too much into it in that, in that heat. But he did manage to get quite a bit off, as you can see. And I actually pulled some off by hand and kind of helped him out so I can I can show you guys this uh, this process. Uh, I think he'll probably do most of this when it gets dark or, or later in the evening when it cools off and he, and he feels like getting up and, and actually uh, uh, getting over and working with it a little bit more. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and, and, and pull some off just to show you guys and make sure that we got some footage of it because uh, we might wake up tomorrow morning and he and he'd be perfectly clean. So. Anyway, let me uh, get to the footage and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so you can see he's uh, kind of really starting to actively rub out now. And there he is, he's licking the branch there where he's uh, got some of that velvet attached, just trying to clean that velvet up. Here we go guys, kind of seen it firsthand here. He's really, really getting aggressive with it now. He's breaking it up quite a bit more than I thought he would. I didn't really rub, want him rubbing against the T-post, but he's really breaking off the branches that I give him to put on there. Let's see if I can sneak back here and not disturb him too much. You can see that velvet just hanging there now, so it's really starting to come out. We'll just watch him here a few minutes and see how well he does cleaning this up. So what he's doing guys he's hitting his antlers a little bit on these branches and then he's just taking a second to make sure that he licks off all of the velvet that might have come off so you'll notice he'll he'll hit it a little bit and then he'll lick the spot where the velvet may have come off so he can eat that velvet and then he'll come back to licking uh, or come back to rubbing after he gets done and he'll just repeat that process until he feels like he's uh, cleaned up enough Let's walk up here a little bit guys and see if I can 
Get a little bit closer, look at this. Looks like he might be done for just the time being. He did pretty good there, he broke a lot of it up. And it's pretty hot out here and he's not wanting to spend a lot of time on it, it don't look like. May have to try to come back here later this evening and see if he doesn't feel like finishing this thing up, but. You got some off, didn't you, buddy? Let's see what you've got going. Here, let's see. Hey, come here, dude. Give me a drink of water. Let's see what you got. You got quite a bit of it. You roughed it up pretty good, my man. It's hard to see in here now, guys. It's got the inside the building, and he's not going to let me touch this. But he's got a big piece coming right there. Okay, I know. Let me see. Let me see if I can get that. See if I can get that. See if I can get that. Oh, here we go. There you go, guys. Come on, buddy. I just got the big piece that he got loose there. Let's take a look at it here in the sun. They had a big piece come off of there. Now, admittedly, he's kind of lazy about it. He doesn't always get it all off. I have to usually finish it up for him. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Is the velvet coming off? He goes double that entire piece up. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a big piece. There's a big piece. Okay, guys, let's turn around here and get in the sun again, and I'll show you. Got another great big piece come off. I'll see if I can get him to come out here. I don't know why he's wanting to go in there. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's come out here so you can look at it. I'll just drop that right there. My hands are a little bit bloody. There's a little bit of blood in it, and there's always going to be. Yeah, it's coming off, isn't it, dude? Coming off, isn't it, dude? Oh, there's another piece. You want that? There we go. Way. Let's let them guys look at that. Look at that there. That's the looks just like it did on the video where I cut Buckshot's antler out of his velvet. Yeah. Hope you guys can see that okay in here in the building. I know. I'll pull off another piece. You let me. I'll get another piece off if you let me. You want to? Come on, let's walk out here a little bit. Here, let's walk out here just a little bit. I'm try to get him out here in the sun where you guys can see him a little bit better. <laughs> I 
I know it's hot outside, isn't it, buddy? Stay in the shade. Get it in the sun. There's a pretty good shot right there. Look how mangled that velvet is on that other side. Go pick up that piece I set on the ground and give that to him. And like I said, I don't understand the reasoning why they eat that velvet back, but that's just something that they all do, I'm assuming. I mean, he does it. I see the other deer doing it, even though, you know, this is this is a tame buck here that we're able to do this with. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the wild deer do the same thing. Yeah. You got that side pretty mangled. It's already dry. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call it right here. And um, I'm sure he'll get out here and finish this up in the next day or two. And we may do an update video with him when he gets this all stripped off and just kind of show you. I'm going to have a, a friend of ours come over and, and officially score him uh, in, a, in a couple of days uh, whenever we get ready to cut these antlers so we can get an official score on him this year. And I'll bring you guys that process as well. But here we are, got Bo finished out today. He's got a little bit more work to do to get this velvet off, but he'll, he'll do that in his own time. I just wanted to show you guys kind of the process of how he works on those trees and then licks it and, and all that type of stuff. And doesn't take much whenever he first gets started to, uh, to get it off of there, as you've seen. I mean, I, I helped him a little bit, but I really didn't need to. He would have went back over there in his, in his own time and done it on his own. I just did that for, to, for video purposes. Like I said, I appreciate you guys following along with him all year. I plan on doing a little uh, montage video of all of, the, all of the pictures that I took of him throughout the, this entire process of growing this set of antlers from the day I pulled the antler off of his head back in February, I think, until today, which is, um, I think it's August uh, 21st, I believe, uh, when he actually uh, shed the velvet. So, thanks for watching, and we'll be back.